The key to genuine happiness. The key to genuine happiness. Here's a simple and secular definition of the word happy. It's feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Very simple. It's a feeling. It's an emotion. It's what we feel inside. It's a, a good feeling, a good emotion, if you will. But the word happy in the Bible is always connected to being blessed, to being blessed, which then is a higher meaning in the sense that the biblical idea of happiness is always connected to the way in which we respond to God. Your happiness is then connected to the way you respond to God. We'll look at this a little more in a minute. I recently read a headline from an article by ABC News that reads, Americans are the unhappiest they've been in 50 years. But why? Well, what's the root? What's the reason? The root of this problem is easy to find. The more godless America becomes, the more unhappy Americans become. It's as simple as that, really. Listen, if you surveyed 100 people by asking them, what is the one thing that you want out of life? What is the one thing, the grand thing that you want out of life? The majority will most likely answer, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. How many times have you not heard that? I just want to be happy. The great desire to be happy is at the heart of everything we do. The great desire to be happy is at the heart of everything that we do. We do things that make us happy. And we also do things that will supposedly make us happy. How many times again have you not heard people say that? I, I just want to be happy. Many people say this when they're on the brink of divorce. Why don't you want to be with him anymore? I just want to be happy. Why don't you want to be with her anymore? I just want to be happy. Doesn't God want me to be happy? Don't I have the right to be happy? They'll say this when they're tempted to cheat on their spouse. Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to leave your spouse? Why do you want to go with another person? I just want to be happy. People will say, I want to be happy when they're watching pornography. They'll say this when they're sick and tired of their job and want to quit. Why are you leaving that job? Well, I'm not happy there. It's always connected to happiness or unhappiness. People will say this when they're intoxicated. I mean, I've had friends with a beer bottle in their hand and a joint in their mouth say, I, 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 just, I just want to be happy. I, I just want to be happy. To which I reply, is that Budweiser or that blunt really making you happy? Is it helping at all? And if they're honest, the answer is no, of course not. Because intoxication only numbs their unhappiness or magnifies their unhappiness. People say this when they're discontented with the way God made them. Like Michael Jackson, Sammy Sosa, or Lil' Kim, who had, quote-unquote, everything but the skin color they desired. Confusion and discontentment towards God's design is the reason why transgendered people exist. Again, people say, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy when their children are running wild, when their finances are running low, and even when things are going pretty good, relatively speaking. Even when they finally get the golden opportunity to be happy, they're not happy. And so again, people do what they do simply because they want to be happy. That's what they want. And why is that? Because Everyone intrinsically knows that we were created to be happy. God didn't create us to be miserable or discontented or depressed or anxious or bitter. All of that is a result of the fall. All of that is a result of our sin. 
And the sad reality is that because genuine happiness can only be attained in connection to God and His ways, most people would rather live miserable lives than to connect with God. That's just the reality. Most people won't say that out loud, but they'll say it in their hearts. Well, if genuine happiness only comes from and through God, I don't want it. I'll pass. So they go not on their merry way, but on their miserable way. So again, happiness is connected with God. There's just no way around it. I recently watched a portion of an interview with uh, Eminem, and this was when he was, quote-unquote, at the top of the world. And Eminem was asked, Are you happy? He quickly answered, No, I'm not happy. I'm never happy. And he repeats himself, I'm, I'm never happy. When I heard this response, I felt pity towards him. It was sad to hear because what is available to all of us is not enjoyed by all of us. Again, God created us all to be happy, but not apart from Him. You would think otherwise about Eminem, wouldn't you? After all, He has it all as far as this world sees it, right? He's at the peak of his career when he's interviewed at this time. He's selling millions of records. He's filling stadiums. Um, he has everything a boy would want. And in all that pomp, in all that fame, in all that materialism, in all that popularity, there was not one drop of genuine happiness. This proves to us that genuine inner happiness or a happy heart is not found in high achievement, good looks, big bucks, intoxications, perversions, fame or popularity. So that leaves us with this question. Then where is true happiness found and how can we get it? How can we attain it? How can we enjoy it? Well, I'm glad you asked. To get the answer to this question, let's turn to the ultimate source of absolute truth, which is the Word of God, the Bible. Do you want to know how to be happy? Do you want the key to genuine happiness? Here it is. It is found in Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 20. And it says this, He who heeds the Word wisely will find good, and whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. When it says he who heeds, we can say he who carefully considers or searches out, follows or obeys the word wisely will find good. But the answer is right here. Whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. You might say, well, is it as simple as that? Well, it's not always easy to trust in the Lord because we're prone to to trusting in ourselves and trusting the things we have, trusting in many other things but God. But yes, when we trust in God, we experience a sense of genuine, heavenly happiness. And the opposite is true of this verse, right? If happy is the one who trusts in the Lord, then unhappy is the one who does not trust in the Lord. And so, the main reason why people are unhappy in this world is simply because they don't trust in God. They don't trust in God. Because God made a promise that he or she, anyone who trusts in him, will experience true, genuine happiness. It's what everybody wants. It's what everybody wants. Why is the one who trusts in the Lord God genuinely happy? Why is he or she genuinely happy? Listen, all the things and even people that make us happy fail us. They fail us. And therefore, our happiness is either disturbed or turned to unhappiness. Because these things that we put our trust in fail us, we become sorrowful, we become sad, we, we turn to gloom, which then turns to complaining and bitterness and so on. 
God, on the other hand, never fails us. That is the source of all happiness, is to know that we can put our trust in a God who never fails His people. He has never failed. He will never fail. We fail Him, but He does not fail us. He never fails us. The deep understanding of this reality produces a happy heart. Right? So then, whoever trusts in the unfailing Lord, happy is he. Without trust, reliance, or dependency upon God, listen, good or bad circumstances get the upper hand on our emotions. Without trust in God, good or bad circumstances dictate our mood. If things are going good, we're happy. If things are going bad, we're sad. But when one truly trusts that God is in full control of every situation, even when we find ourselves in the middle of a muddy trial, we can rest assured that God cares, that God knows best, and that God is more than able, and that God is working all things together for our good. And that reality... The reality of how great and good and powerful our God is, is what causes us to be happy inside. I mean, it's God's promise, Romans 8, 28. God works all things that is good or bad things, all things together for our good, for those who love the Lord, for those who love God. And one way in which we prove that we love God is we place our trust in God. We trust that God knows what He's doing, whether we have or don't have, the things that make everybody else happy or sad. As long as we know that God is in full control, as long as we know that God is here to provide for us, to care for us, to watch over us, that is what makes us happy. It's what makes me happy. If my happiness was connected to every circumstance, I think I'd be sad more than happy because not everything goes my way. Not everything goes good in life. But listen, God doesn't change. My circumstances may change. My mood may change. I may have some mood swings, but God never changes. And that's what I place my confidence in. When we place our confidence in God and not in ourselves, people, or stuff, we enjoy an inner sense of happiness. Why? Because this confidence says, I might be small and insignificant, my situation may be painful and uncomfortable, but God is large and in charge. The ones who trust in God is ultimately happy because they have God. They have His eyes and heart aimed at them. They enjoy His forgiveness, His provisions, even if at times they may seem insignificant. They enjoy His mercy. They enjoy His helping hand. They enjoy His direction. They enjoy His grace. They enjoy His divine truth, which is only found in Scripture. They trust in God for all these things. Listen, not as a way to brag, but as a way to point to God's sure word, to say that God most definitely keeps His word. I want you to know that I enjoy high levels of happiness most of the time. I mean, you can ask my wife and my kids and those who know me pretty well. Most of the time, I'm a joyful person. I'm a happy person. And some may say, yeah, well, because you have everything going for you. It's more than that. It's because I trust in the Lord. I depend upon Him. He is the reason why I'm happy. Because my Lord never fails. But this wasn't always the case. Because there were times in my life when I trusted in myself. I trusted in circumstances and things and stuff and so on. And I mean, I'm probably one of the happiest people in town. But again, it's because I've placed my trust in the Lord. I trust Him. I trust the Lord with my entire life. I trust Him with my mind. I trust Him with my heart. I trust Him with my marriage. I trust Him with my ministry. I trust Him with my finances. I trust Him with my sons. I trust Him 
with everything, everything I am and everything I have. And he touches my soul and that produces happiness. You see, my joy, my happiness is not necessarily connected to how things are going in my life. Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes we succumb to sadness because sad things happen and so on. But even then, we can be assured that God is in control. And so even in dark times and difficult times, He doesn't change. And I look up and I find happiness for my soul. There's a sense of inner calm and peace simply because I know that God is there for me. You need to grow in that understanding if you want to be a happy man or a happy woman. It's the way you find it. You trust in the Lord. To trust in the Lord and everything is an act of obedience. God commands us to trust in Him. But this happiness and this confidence and this trust which leads to obedience is connected to knowledge. You need to know the Lord. You need to know the Lord personally. And He has revealed Himself through His Word. And if you want to know Him in greater measure, measures, then you need to seek Him out in His Word. Pay attention to what He says. Pay attention to what He likes, what He doesn't like. Pay attention to what He wants, His will. Pay attention to what He's done for His people. Pay attention to the way He treats His enemies. Pay attention to those things that honor Him, those things that dishonor Him. Pay attention to those things that please Him and displease Him. Get to know your God. And the better you know Him, the better you will enjoy greater measures of true, genuine happiness. Lastly, happiness is the fruit of obedience. Those who obey God are happy people. God blesses those with happiness who obey Him, who take Him at His word, who rejoice in God's commands and ways. He gives them happiness. Again, Proverbs 16, 20 says this, He who heeds, that is carefully considers, searches out, follows, obeys the word wisely, will find good. And so again, happiness is the fruit of obedience. There are some Christians who are miserable. Not because God wants them to be miserable, but because they're not trusting in Him. They're not waiting on Him. He is not their all in all. They don't see His invisible providential hand working to meet their needs and to help them in every situation. And, some, and that's a sin. To not trust in God is a sin. And so there are many, many Christians who are down and out, miserable, because they have their eyes on their circumstances instead of having their eyes on God. When God becomes your all in all, you become a happy person. You really do. You really do. And many, many Christians are not enjoying the happiness of God and the joy of God and inner genuine happiness simply because they're not living right. And so why would God cause them to be happy if they're living in a way that causes Him to be upset, displeased, and even angry? So again, happiness is a fruit of obedience. Happiness is the fruit of the knowledge of God's goodness and care and love towards us. So if you want to enjoy inner genuine happiness, place your trust in the Lord and obey His Word. There is no other way. He will definitely touch your soul and He will definitely fill your heart with joy. Listen, if you want to experience greater levels of happiness, look to God always and in every situation. I know we may sound like broken records always saying, trust in the Lord, look to the Lord, rely on the Lord, confide in the Lord, depend on the Lord, lean on the Lord, trust in the Lord. But really that's where happiness is found. Let's read the verse one last time. Proverbs 16, 20, he who heeds the word wisely will find good. And whoever, whoever, whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. That's the fruit. That's the result of trust. There's a sense of happiness that overtakes someone's mind and heart and daily disposition.